We flew into London from Dublin and uh, man, it took two and a half hours. We were spent. I was very fatigued. I don't know how you know, DJ Lord was able to go out and dance on tables topless this <laughs> night. So somehow he did it. Cheeky drinks low key get you fucked up. So I was fucked up and um, I won't go into that. It took us longer than the flight to get from the airport to our hotel. It took about, I would say, an hour and a half, maybe two hours, if that. You know, the way that they have the streets now and everything, like it, it, it's, it, it's impossible. I wouldn't want to drive here. Parking's messed up. The, the roads are tiny. You got big double-decker buses. All these cars coming from all the directions, the roundabouts. I, I don't know how y'all do it, but y'all do it, but I don't know how y'all do it. It's tough doing these shows night to night, and then on a day off, you have to travel and then deal with like, you know, an, a whole a two and a half hour ride from the airport that's supposed to be an hour or something like that because of, you know, uh, traffic and whatnot. But, you know, um, and it'd been hard to sleep those last couple of nights, so I was feeling real fatigued. But due to a lot of vitamins and hydration, I was able to bounce back. And, uh, you know, I was rather excited for London because you know London always you know always uh, gives a lot of energy you know I don't remember one show that we've had here that wasn't buck wow you know and that was the the thing you know are they gonna beat Ireland in terms of energy because Ireland was just energy and uh, yeah London England came with it um you know uh, we were feeling good before we started a lot of our friends had showed up you know, salute to Bobby D came through. Uh, salute to our boy Kieran came through with the with the squad, and uh, you know our boy Kim, who uh, provided us with some good stuff. Ob Trice, uh, our boy Miguel from uh, Paris came in. A lot of people flew in for this gig from different places. You know, even just some of the fans that uh, showed up there. You know. So it was, it was a lovely vibe. Uh, our agent was in the house, Scott Thomas, salute to X-Ray. Um, all coming to support and, you know, to see Ice Cube and, and Cypress Hill, like, mash this thing because there's been a lot of hype for it for a long time. Hi. Hi. To my brothers. Before the show, we did the, uh, the uh, meet and greet where uh, a certain amount of people get to come out and uh, shake hands take a picture and say hello with us. And that was cool. Uh, met some different um, people from, uh, you know, different parts of you know, London, which is always cool. I don't mess around. How long have you had that? Since 1996. You could sign my big drum oh, that I smuggled in from yeah. Canada. Now, do you want me to sign the drum or I didn't right in All right, there you go. You know, Lord worked on some new flips that we would do there. Um, that, uh, you know, were sounding pretty goddamn good when we were, you know, sort of just going through them before we actually hit the stage. And, uh, you know, so we were excited to try some of that new shit, that new, new. But I'll tell you what, the homies that showed up for us here in London, like the previously mentioned people, they brought some gas. I mean, London got some weed man let me tell you what and some concentrates we seen it it's there it's here and we were you know we got lifted baby gotta tell you right now and uh, one of our guests actually brought us <laughs> some uh some uh you know chocolate shroom uh chocolate bar infused with mushrooms delightful man 
I really feel good the way that we're playing, the way that we're, we're getting it all together and we're, we're changing stuff around on the fly. We'll like, you know, talk about something and we get an idea down and then we, we put it into motion, we put it into action, like either that night or the day after. London, England! Oh shit! London, England, how the fuck y'all doing tonight? Who's ready to see San Brazil? But, you know, let's, let's talk about the show was enormous energy from front to back. And again, like I've told you in the previous ones, you know, I asked the crowd if this was their first time seeing Cypress Hill. 80% new fans coming to see Cypress Hill. 20% old school fans coming back. Salute to all you new motherfuckers that came to the party. And we're just open enough to receive it. You know what I mean? That That's everything to an artist. And to see our crowds getting younger, I mean, that's, that's so satisfying because you don't, you don't know that you're gonna make music that, that stands the test of time. You're just doing what you feel. And if it locks in, that's that's everything. So, you know, the fact that our, our music has uh, had impact on a whole generation that a lot of them weren't even born before it came out or were babies when it was out. And to see them knowing all the words, singing along, um, there's, there's, <laughs> No better gratification than that. So salute to everybody that, that's been coming out to these shows. They've been been amazing, man. The energy just off the chain. Um, it's been an explosive type of energy. But uh, you know, we delivered the set, polished, sharp, spot on, because that's what we do. It's the Cypress Hill experience. The energy that that we've been seeing across Europe um, has been really intense and, and really good, you know, really good energy, you know, for the concert. So I just want to say thank you to all the fans that have uh, came out, participated on this tour, on this particular run. Um, you guys have made it all worth it. Uh, and um, I can't do it again. But, um, you know, there's one, we got, a, we got some more to go. We got another one tonight in Nottingham, and uh, I know it's gonna be lit. I can already feel it. All I can say is that London, y'all motherfuckers are the shite. Man, last night, this whole entire crew, I don't care who it was on this crew, lit last night. I didn't, I, I was walking the walls till four in the morning. Uh, Bobo was up, uh, unbelievable. It was just, it was an over the top night. The whole team had fun partying. Um, it, it was funny too because half half the squad went in one direction, half the squad went in another, and uh, we were keeping each other up to date with videos and stuff. So I was seeing half the guys on the other side of town what they were up to, and man, it, London, England last night, the Cypress Hill squad took over London, England from the pubs to the restaurants to the stadiums. It was dope. Cypress was in town. And uh, when Cypress is in town, the, you know, the good folks of London, England, they come out and uh, they know how to party. You know, what we do after the show sometimes is we will become one. <laughs> what I mean by that is we'll take that chocolate bar, the mushroom infused chocolate bar, and we'll all take microdoses from it together. And we have our chant that, that you know, that we are one. What I didn't tell y'all is that we also, me and that crew that I told you about, the, the, the secret crew, the secret assassin crew, we crashed a Christmas party. <laughs> we crashed a Christmas party, like a straight up work Christmas party. We were eating chicken wings and french fries and shit, chilling, having a great old time. And then Evan went to the bar and took me. I got this round. Hey, is this, a Christmas, is this a Christmas party? And immediately the lady's like, security, he's not with us, he's us. And they pointed over at us and they sent the goon, he's rah, 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 rah. I'm still eating my chicken wings. And I was looking over my shoulder by this time, I'm faded. Looking over my shoulder and I said, I was like, yo, we gotta get out of here. He came there, he didn't touch us. He just shooed us out in a nice proper English way that they do. And we didn't get locked up. 
but that was great. That felt like we were in the movie. Uh, everything else after that, I don't quite remember. Yeah.